Robert Guerrero, man, God, man, it's great to see you back doing what you love. I mean, how, how's life? How's the comeback coming along? Life's great, man. It's always been great. Yeah. Just thank God for every day. Yeah, yeah the comeback, it's, uh, I'm excited. Got you. I'm excited, uh, it, uh, just, uh, a little bit of time off, relaxing, doing the commentary, and, uh, to come back. But you're on December first, the Wilder Fury. Is that correct? Yes. Do you know who you're facing, or uh, at this point, uh, they have a guy. But, you know, everything changes, man. Got you. you know, especially when you're coming back. So. Uh, you know, see what happens. I'm excited. So, we're talking about your return. Like, um, what really was the main motive behind it? You think, where you know you can still compete and be at that level? Uh, I know I can still compete. Now, um, now uh, what makes me think? I know I can still compete. Man. It's Good. just a uh, just a matter of rest. You know, I've been doing it my whole life since I was nine years old. I never ever took time off, and uh, you know, been on that grind. So uh, after a while, you start getting burned out. You need you need a little time to kick back and you know regenerate the boosters and go again. And, you know, that's how I feel. I feel great. What have you been like your best wins? You feel as a pro, just the greatest moments? All of them, man. Yeah. All your wins, <laughs> you know, as a pro, you know, your career, you know, winning world championships and, uh, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, you know, it's been great. It's been great. Life's been great. So, what do you think about, um, how do you feel now, like, you get ready to spar, you say, today, like, uh, how, how far away do you feel, like, do you need some few tune-ups and stuff like that, maybe? Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, you've been out of here with no boxing, you know, longer than a year, actually. And, yeah. You know, with no boxing at all, just staying away from you know, the actual boxing gym. Uh, I mean, I'll be at the gym, do some workouts, but never really like boxing, boxing. So, right, right. Uh, you know, so you know, it's gonna take it's gonna take a little bit of time. You know, maybe one two fights. Uh, you know, but it's like riding a bike, man. Once you're in that gym, right. You know, you're right back on it. How and everything starts coming right back. Got you. How you know to people who don't realize what you go through. How kind of tough and brutal can the sport of boxing be? You know, it's brutal, man. The training's brutal. That's yeah. what's, that's the most brutal part. Right, right, right. You know, it's not so much the fight; it's the training and you know, getting in shape and putting yourself through the ringer to be prepared. So. Fine line. There's a fine line where uh, you know where uh, you're 100 percent at your peak, or you know you overtrain and beat yourself up in the gym. And, uh, a lot of times, that's what I was doing. Got you. Have you had any thoughts on the Adrian Broner Manny Pacquiao fight? That's gonna be a good fight, man. You know, you know Adrian comes always to fight. Manny comes to fight. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. What about? Uh, do you think Mikey Garcia has a chance moving up a weight to face Earl Spence? Yeah, everybody gets a chance, man. I'm a big Mikey fan, so. I think uh, he sees something that he can capitalize on. You know, everybody's looking at it like he's crazy. And, you know, he's gonna get blown out or this and that. But uh, you know, Mikey's a great fighter. He's very smart in the ring. He comes into the, every uh, game plan really intelligent and knows what to do in the ring. And uh, you know, he's that type of guy that seems to surprise everybody. You know, the things he's doing. And you know, I, I'm excited. You know, it, it is gonna be a tough fight. And uh, you know, anything can happen in this sport.